Hi, I'm Marika Hamilton, founder of DealingWithHealing.com and creator of the program Seven Steps to Accelerated Health. Today I need to talk to you about a serious problem with the neurotoxins that we're actually eating every single day. Here's what you need to know. Okay, first off, you've heard of monosodium glutamate, MSG. The problem is it's not just in Chinese food anymore. It's in 80% of processed and packaged foods. Pretty shocking, right? What the hell? This is a neurotoxin. It kills your brain cells. 80% people. It's a pretty scary number. MSG will make you fat. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever eaten just one Dorito? There's a reason for that. Flip that bag over and look at the ingredients and you'll find out that MSG is probably the fifth or sixth one on the list. When laboratories have to do tests on fat mice, how do you make a mouse fat? Mice don't get fat, they just eat what they need, right? Well, they figured out in the lab, start feeding the mouse MSG and guess what happens? All of a sudden we have obese mice to do studies on. Is it any wonder why America has such a problem with obesity? And when is MSG not MSG? Well, be careful here because the food industry is getting smart and literally they're changing the name on the ingredients list. There's probably 20 or so clean label names that they now refer to MSG as so you don't have to see those ugly three little words. So Google MSG clean label names and become familiar with how MSG can occur in your food so you can make the best choices possible. This is really, really important. You're gonna have to do the homework, get the list, and make sure that these neurotoxins are staying out of your house and out of your grocery cart. I think the thing that upsets me the most is the amount of MSG that we are feeding our children. These poor old guys don't have a chance. Their brains are developing and we're feeding them a steady supply of neurotoxins and don't even know it. And lastly, I just want you to know, if you research MSG, you'll find out it was never even approved by the FDA to be safe for human consumption. It was not proven to be safe for human consumption. It was grandfathered in and given the status as generally regarded as safe. That's gotta make you think. Stick to the outside of the grocery store. Wherever you find fresh fruits and vegetables, even meat would be better than eating MSG. But you take control over what food you're fixing and stop buying packaged and processed food that is literally poisoning you and your family. This will get you off to a great start to a healthier life. Here's to our good health. I'm Marika Hamilton. Hi, this is Marika again. I'm so glad you're here. Make sure you sign up for my newsletter. Go to www.dealingwithhealing.com. I want to make sure you have all the information you need to stay healthy.